Hello, thank you so much for getting to this point. Um, I just want you to know firstly that you've clicked on this video for a reason and I really, really want to help. There's not much information about AKN or bumps at the back of your head. You've probably been to your doctors and they just tell you that you need steroid shots or you need to go on certain antibiotics. And um, there's just a lot to this and there's not a lot of men, especially men of color, even talking about this online. This is why I've created this. This is more of a lifestyle thing. I want it to be a comprehensive guide for you. I just want to put a disclaimer before we even get into anything here. I am not a doctor. I'm not a healthcare professional. I'm just an individual who's gone through this for a long time. And I want to share with you all the knowledge that I know so you're able to treat this and basically change your life. Because I know for a fact, if you're watching this video, this is affecting your life. Like really seriously, it's affecting your life. You've, it's probably affected you socially, at work, dating, personal life. Everything is affected by this because it's not just, oh, a bump at the back of your head. It, it literally affects everything because the way that we present ourselves and our self-esteem are all tied to these kind of things. And I just want you to know, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just here to help. And I'm going to try my best to give you all the information and equip you with all the information that you need to be able to live with this, reduce it and like I did, completely get rid of it. Now, I want to start by just telling you my story and how I got AKN. I got the bumps at the back of my head and it all starts from the barbers. I'm not sure if everyone's story starts from the barbers, but I've read a lot of things where it starts, um, people's issues have really started from the barbers. It was, I can't remember, probably around 2016, when I went to the barbers, um, it was a frequent thing. It was just a regular routinely thing that I would do is I would go to the barbers, get a haircut, go back home, have a shower. And I did that same routine, but then the next day I had this came up at the back of my head. I'll, pick, I'll put the picture up right now. And I didn't really think anything of this because at the time I was just young. I, I was like 17 or 18 at the time. So I didn't really take any note of it. I just thought it was regular sports. Uh, it was just a regular spot or something that would leave in the next two to three days or whenever. I didn't think it was going to persist and stay there. And that's something I know a lot of you guys will probably think of this as well. Like, But we can't be dwelling in the past is that you wish you tackled this issue as soon as you can. And if you are one of those people who are on this video and you did and you are taking action now, I'm telling you, it's not going to be as bad as it could get if you tackle it early. And I wasn't one of those people who tackled it early. It started very, very small. And at the time I was gonna, I was heading off to university. So I was kind of feeling a little bit insecure about it before I even went to university because I thought, oh damn, like I've got this at the back of my head. This is a time in my life when I'm supposed to be really social. Like um, I'm supposed to be really active doing things and out with people. and um, But I didn't really pay too much attention to it. Uh, this was around a month in and I decided that it was just a regular spot that was just taking a really long time to go. So I just left it. I didn't go to the doctors. I didn't do anything about it really. And during the first three months, I realized that I was actually getting worse. Um, the papules at the back of my head were getting like harder and they were forming together. And as you can see in this picture that I put here, this was around three months in. And this is after going to the doctors. I went to the doctors and they just told me it was just um, psoriasis. But I was like, I've never had psoriasis in my life. So what they were telling me and the things that they were giving me and the medications that they gave me didn't really help at all. And... Um, this was around the time where things were really heating up in my social life where I had to be constantly active. I used to go out and play sports all the time. You know, I used to play football a lot and I couldn't even do that because I was too embarrassed to like even show the back of my head. And this is when I knew it was getting really bad is because I stopped. I completely stopped going to all these social things um, because of because of the AKM, because of spots at the back of my head. And at the time, I genuinely thought to myself, like, I need to find a way to cure, like to get rid of this stuff. So again, I went back to the doctors and I was like, I need, 
and and these were the pictures i'll show you these were the updated pictures that i sent i had to send it to the doctors and then i went there and then they took a sample and then they put me on some more medication but this time they put me on steroids so they put me on a steroid cream uh they gave me a topical one and i was supposed to take an oral one at um some point in the future but what happened was like it was just getting really inflamed and i'll get to this as well because uh this is just a huge thing um now that uh everything's calmed down and there's basically nothing at the back of my head due to some lifestyle changes and just the whole encompassing thing that i want to talk about in uh and give you this information it will make a lot of sense right so i went there they gave me some steroids it did calm down a little bit so i spent like two months of that time uh two months of this time just um just feeling okay i was back to going out because they, were, they weren't as bad uh anymore so they were very similar to how they were at the beginning so they were just like really tiny pimples and i was like okay at least i can head out now there's not as bad as they were before and then this happened you can see how bad this is right now how horrible and disgusting looking this is looking imagine i think that it's healing and then it comes back even worse like even more aggressively and this is the point where i completely stopped going out i, I completely stopped because there was no way that i could go out socially like with this at the back of my head it was that the point where the doctors said to me like um don't wear anything that's close to your neck or anything that'll irritate um that area so what i did was I, I still wore caps because i still had to get through the day i was in a social environment i had to wear a cap to go shopping for food and just maintenance and things like that around my personal life that i had to still go outside for I would just be constantly wearing hats and caps and things like that. And ultimately, because I made that decision for when I went out socially, um, even to lectures, I had to put a cap on. This was also affecting my scalp in general. So meaning the infections that were happening, because you know how it is when you have this aggressively, you have bloody, ta you have bloody pillowcases. Um, if you wear a do-rag like the only solution I had was to wear a do-rag to bed tie it around my head put it back so at least I could sleep on my pillowcases without having bloody pillowcases this is nuts when we think about it, that for us like black men or men of color people curly hair that this is what we have to go through because there's no real solution that uh, it's just very very frustrating that we have to go through this and this is something that fully affects your life you know this fully affects your life if you're at the point where you're sleeping with bloody pillowcases and i know a majority of you guys have gone through everything you have tried everything like there was a point where i was put putting turmeric like you know the powder putting turmeric on there to be like oh let's see what happens i was just experimenting on myself because apart from um what the doctor suggested which was surgery which was like laser surgery um this usually happens when the papules um have sort of keloided and joined together but mine wasn't as th they were really small and my dad kept on telling me not to take those chances because when you have surgery it's a it's a really long road essentially so what i basically did um to 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 start solving my issue honestly i'm good uh in the next few videos that i've got at the bottom which you can get and you can watch all of them like a five part um the five part is just going to be on dealing with AK and changing your diet um home treatment lifestyle and exercise there's a bunch of different things that you can personally do to help yourself and not think about surgery or even if you are at the point because i know there's some people who's AKN unfortunately is so bad it's got to the point where they have to get those huge papules removed like if you see examples like this this is the point where you can still apply the things that I said to relieve that and see what happens first before you have a surgery I'm telling you try this first before you go in for a surgery even if it's this big please 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 try what i'm going to mention and tell to you before you even get to surgery right 
And I'm just going to mention the key things that you have to do. And then in the further videos that you can get below, I'm going to tell you exactly what these things are in detail. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you have to learn to deal with AKN. So meaning things like your self-esteem and your mental health can be really, really affected by this. This is number one because it's not something that's going to go away really quickly. So you're going to have to learn how to deal with it. You've got other mechanisms to free your mind and maybe some form of meditation or uh, exercise or something like that. You have to put in place something where you're still you're still taking care of yourself mentally because it takes a huge mental toll. It takes a huge mental hit on you because this really affects your self-esteem. I don't care how handsome you are, how good looking you are. It really, really will affect your self-esteem. Now, the second thing is really quickly is to change your diet. Now, this was such a huge thing for me because during university, changing my diet, my diet was horrible. My diet consisted of lots of um, dairy, lots of sugar. It Just dairy and sugar are the two main things that you need to cut out of your diet. And I am telling you, trust me, trust me, like sugar is one of the hardest things to cut out like with bread and milk and stuff like that but i'm telling you it's way better to cut out these things than to live with this stuff at the back of your head i'm telling you there's so many alternatives if you're for, if you're coming from a place where you can't afford stuff cut one thing try your best to cut one thing or eat a certain type of food i'll go into detail about these things but just change your diet remove all the sugar from your diet all the artificial sugars that you're going to have i'm not talking about removing fruits and all those good sugars and natural sugars i'm talking about just removing stuff like cakes bread chocolates uh dairy milk just remove all those things from your diet and i'm telling you this is going to boost and help any type of inflammation that's going on in your body because it's the inflammation that causes even the the spots, the bumps at the back of your head to get larger. Because even now at this point, while the back of my head is clear, when my diet changes or when it's a holiday season, I'm eating more junk stuff, I'll start to see little, little tiny bumps come up again. And this lets me know that my diet is an extremely huge part of solving this issue. Okay. Now remove artificial sugars and also remove dairy the third thing is lifestyle i know a lot of you have slept on bloody pillows before i know there's been instances where you touch the back of your head and you look at your hand and like why has it got blood on here or the back of your head is just randomly oozing just stuff like that it's just horrible so horrible to live with but it's just part of the game it's just part of this thing that we have to deal with so just making sure that your hygiene's on point. That's the first thing. Um, making sure that I, I know that um, we're going to be wearing hats and stuff like that to cover it. The doctors will say not to do that, but it's a psychological thing as well where you still want to be able to go outside. So you just cover it up. But if you're going to do that, making sure that your hats are always clean and things of those nature, just making sure that your hygiene is on point and also a tip a big tip if you can just learn how to cut your own hair that's going to help you a ton trust me you don't have to go back and get the same infection that the barber gave you do you know what i mean like just learn how to cut your hair or at least try or just give yourself a buzz cut or something the fourth thing is exercise this is all tied together with exercise when you're working on your body it helps you mentally and physically and this is just going to tie everything together so those are the top things that you need to do. Um, and again, I've got five extra videos that go into detail on these things, letting you know where you are with your AKN. Remember guys, I am not a doctor. I'm just giving you information that will be beneficial to you so you can use it and apply it to your life, right? That is all, that is all. So if you wanna know more and you wanna apply these things to your life and you wanna just see what will happen, even if you're at a super advanced stage of your AKN, I still recommend that you watch these five videos or it's gonna be five videos or more. Just watching the content and then seeing where that takes you 
It's all about gaining information and trying that first before you go to the extremes. And that's all. I hope to see you guys very, very soon.